What do you think about Eddie Hearn? He's throwing a card here May, or the May 25th at the MGM National Harbor. We think about Eddie throwing a card here finally in the District of Columbia. Well, it's outside of wow. DC, but you know, um, so how big is that? It's just it's just going to show you that how big boxing really is in DC. How many fighters we got that can really fight in DC? Yeah. So therefore, we got everybody reaching out to our fighters to make sure they bring these shows. Eddie Hearn is saying something that Al, Eddie Hearn is saying something that Al Heyman has already seen. He would, right? Al Heyman has already seen it, but Eddie Hearn saying, "Guess what? Let me take another piece of this puzzle." Yeah. Guess what? Right now, to me, it's an Eddie Hearn, man. Al Heyman, you know, it's a situation where they competing. <laughs> They, 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 they compete with their fighters. They compete with the venues. Well, you know, we got these two promoters that's competing, which is a good thing in boxing. Mm -hmm. Because it brings all of us out. But we got the best fighters in D.C. We just got to stay focused and keep doing what we're doing. Right, right. Usyk was supposed to do his heavyweight pro debut against uh, Takem. You know, he got a bicep injury. Now they moved the boy Devin Haney up to our uh, main event. Uh, I think I forget who he's fighting, but what do you think about that, that Devin? Yeah, the MGM National Harbor. Yep, in the next, what, two weeks? I like Devin Haney. Um, I think Devin Haney got a lot of potential. I'm, I, I, I'm surprised that they moving him so slow. Mm. I thought Devin Haney at this point right now, and I think at 135, can be very successful. I think Devin Haney right now is, is what they call me, a guy that don't get no respect at the right. division. Like when I was when I beat the number two guy, mm. um, the Rodney Dangerfield, mm -hmm. I think he's the best 135-pounder without a title. Now he's fighting for the WBC Intercontinental title. Well, that's Intercontinental. We talking about world. See, see, see. We, we already know it's a stepping stone. That's great. Devin Haney should be fighting for a world title. Mm. How good Devin, is, I like you, man. <laughs> how good is Devin? Devin good. Devin can fight. Devin got, I, I seen him out box. I seen him put the punches together. I watched him strong guys try to walk him down. Mm. And it reminded me of a young Shakur Stevens. Mm. I mean, they're around the same age, I think. Yeah, but it reminds me, but, but Devin Haney has already had that, that professional experience. Shakur is getting it now. Right. But I think those two guys are going to be a force to be reckoned with as soon as, uh, you know, things get to change. You know, changing other guards, out with the old, in with the new. Mm, I think Shakur is at 26. 26? Yeah. And Devin's at, what, 30? Yeah. I yeah. think Devin's at 35. He's 35? 30, 35. Yeah, okay. So who's your um, top uh, three fighters at 130? Well, it's a fight that I said that we made a long time ago at Welterweight with Simon Brown and Maurice Block. I think we got cheated when we didn't make Keith Holmes, uh, William Jock. I think we got cheated when we didn't make Chop Chop, Sean Bay Mitchell. Now I think we may get cheated if we don't bring up Gary Russell, Tank, Seven Farm. Let's make it happen. Mm. We got the fights that's on board. I mean, it, it, it's, it's some great fights and some great wins out there. And I like to see all that. Mm. All right, Mark. Thanks for your time, Mark. Always a pleasure.